we want to solve the differential equation e to the x plus e to the y dy dx equals zero. If we take a look at our notes below, it is in the form of an exact differential equation. However, we don't know it's exact until we determine if the partial of n with respect to y equals the partial of n with respect to x. If it's helpful, we can write the given differential equation in differential form. We can think of multiplying both sides by dx, which gives us e to the x dx plus e to the y dy equals zero. Where now we can more easily determine m of x comma y equals e to the x and n of x comma y equals e to the y. And now let's check for exactness. The partial of m with respect to y is equal to the derivative of e to the x with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which gives us zero. And the partial of n with respect to x is equal to the derivative of e to the y with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which is also zero. Because the partial derivatives are equal, we now know we have an exact differential equation where the solution is big F of x comma y equals c, such that the partial of big F with respect to x equals m, and the partial of big F with respect to y equals n. Where again we know m is equal to e to the x, and n is equal to e to the y. And now to determine big F of x comma y, we can integrate both sides of the first equation with respect to x, or integrate both sides of the second equation with respect to y. Let's integrate both sides of the first equation with respect to x. Integrating both sides of the first equation with respect to x, we get big F of x comma y equals the integral of e to the x dx. However, we need to be careful here. When we integrate e to the x with respect to x, we are not just gonna have plus a constant, we're going to have plus a function of y because remember, we started with the partial of f with respect to x. When finding this partial derivative, we treated y as a constant. So big F of x comma y is equal to e to the x plus a function of y, which we'll call a of y. And now we use the second equation to determine a of y. If big F of x comma y is equal to e to the x plus a of y, then the partial of f with respect to y must equal the derivative of e to the x plus a of y with respect to y, which is zero plus a prime of y, or just a prime of y. And this must also equal n, which we know as e to the y. So now we know that a prime of y must equal e to the y, and we can determine a of y by integrating both sides with respect to y. So again, if a prime of y equals e to the y, then a of y is equal to the integral of e to the y dy which is just e to the y. So now we know the potential function big F of x comma y is equal to e to the x plus a of y, but we now know a of y is equal to e to the y, giving us big F is equal to e to the x plus e to the y, and therefore the general solution is big F of x comma y equals c, or in our case, e to the x plus e to the y equals c. This is the general solution as an implicit equation. Let's also show how to solve for y. First, we subtract e to the x on both sides, which gives us e to the y is equal to c minus e to the x. And now we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation to solve for y, which gives us natural log of e to the y equals natural log of the quantity c minus e to the x. Applying the power property of logarithms on the left, we can move the exponent of y to the position of the coefficient, which gives us y times natural log e. Natural log e is equal to one, giving us y equals natural log of the quantity c minus e to the x. This would be the general solution, solve for y. I hope you found this helpful.